My name is Kigo, and apparently the doc likes kids. Dr. Disrespect is a massive YouTuber, and he recently got caught texting underage girls. How does this keep happening every week? I don't really know what happened, y'all might, but I gotta find out. So there was a streamer out there who goes by the name Dr. Disrespect. He first began his career online almost 15 years ago, making Call of Duty commentary and other gaming videos. Look at this guy yep. running down the middle of the street. You think he's smart? He's not smart. In fact, his brother isn't smart either. From the start, people really loved both him and this persona that he put on. This was still a very primitive time for the platform as a whole, but Doc was one of those early YouTubers who really saw the bigger picture and the massive gains which could come from thinking more like a businessman and less like a run-of-the-mill creator. He was mm. clearly building a brand with a strong direction and a loyal fan base. You're watching one of the most perfect specimens, right? Perfectly designed. Look at, look at up. Look at the hand-to-head ratio. It's absolutely flawless. My biceps, <laughs> the same size as my calves. This Doc, you're the most stand-up dude on Twitch and so damn entertaining. Can Ooh, me? that one didn't age well. <laughs> Doc, you're the most stand-up guy. Two years later. Yeah, that didn't work out. Coin your signature dance move as the slick daddy slide. Ooh. <laughs> yes. And over the next half decade, he would grind out YouTube. And he even got some opportunities to work directly in the development of a couple of AAA titles at the time. But it was not oh, until sure, 2015 really, cool. when he would start streaming on Justin TV, now known as Twitch, and he quickly began to dominate the site. Joke! It's a shotgun blast right here! By 2018, Doc was breaking records and signing massive deals with some major brands. It was beyond clear that streaming and this persona that he had created was like a match made in heaven. And this no, all resulted no. in him becoming one of the most popular people. He does on have a Twitch. really good character. A lot of people don't have good characters when they do this. And it keeps their like streams not interesting. So it was like a match made in heaven. And this all resulted in him becoming one of the most popular people oh, on Twitch, period. Uh, so everything was going great for Doc. Yes, he had a few Damn. bumps in the road. That's cool. What the fuck? Who made this? Yo, no one puts more effort besides streamers and their announcement videos. Because what is the this? Bro? Look at the sign. On Twitch, period. So everything was going great for Doc. That's tough. Doc. Yes, he had a few bumps in the Every time it's another video, they've been in all this effort, bro. I swear to God. I love it. Road, like when he cheated on his wife and then cried on stream about oh, it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about As that. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife <laughs> and kid. I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful. And, and I'm probably mm. going to be taking some time away, ta time off. And of course, there was also the time he got a temporary ban on Twitch for streaming in the restroom at E3. But overall, he was still in completely over his head with success and an abundance of opportunity. But then on June 26 of 2020, exactly oh, four years man. ago to this day, things would change drastically as seemingly out of nowhere Doc would get banned. Twitch's official statement on the ban would read, As is our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of our community guidelines or terms of service. Why are you These always so vague with it? You can't just tell me what he did. Apply to all streamers. Regardless um, um, as in our process, we take appropriate action to, um, when we have evidence, like, bro, can you just tell me what happened? Tell me he, like, texted a kid or something. Status or prominence in the community, with Discord also removing him from their partner program. Now, immediately, <laughs> Doc would claim that he had no How idea. How do you get... <laughs> oh, wait, that's... He must have been doing it on there. That's crazy. Yeah, why he was banned from Twitch. Also stating like, that his How do you get banned on Discord? Oh, wait, I know was still in good standing. From here, he would begin to stream on YouTube, and in August of 2021, he would announce that he knew the reason for his banning and would be suing Twitch. But a lot of people ask me, do, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f*** out of them, okay? <laughs> By March of the next year, it would be revealed that they had resolved this legal dispute Bruh. and that he would not be returning to the platform. So the speculation okay. and growing anger towards Twitch's Bro, decision quickly realized really he cannot sue the ass. only grew in the eyes of the general public. That but is a big ass company. You're not winning. Here's where things get really interesting. Because oh, really? for the past four years since his banning, Doc has retained the position that it was unjust and that it really affected his career and potential to make money in a massive way. I make mm. probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. You think a big time company like Nike okay, is going to want to work? With that big question mark or Disney. It sucks. Well, cash here. But now the truth is seemingly coming to light piece by piece. And it all started mm -hmm. when a former Twitch employee named Cody Connors tweeted out he got banned because he got caught a minor in the existing Twitch Whispers product. He in was Twitch to Whispers. <laughs> in Twitch Whispers, bro. He just found them on stream and like, you know what? <laughs> you look good. You didn't even see her. <laughs> With her Twitch it whispers is crazy, bro. On the powers that could be read in plain text. Of course, this all sparked a massive storm online, and his buddies rushed to defend him. Uh, These are some crazy man. accusations. Crazy. Until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, 
What are we talking about? Bro, What's you're about to look so stupid. <laughs> You are about to look so stupid. What are you talking about? You even had one of the Tate brothers speak up saying that he knows what it's like to be a tall, successful man who women are th okay. <laughs> throwing themselves at, and he just knows that Doc is innocent. And then you even had Doc himself tweeting out, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All of this had been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. So obviously a lot of people found this <laughs> Elden Ring Monday, guys. I should have show up the least while others speculated that he couldn't outright say he wasn't talking to or interested in meeting up with them obviously that I don't think his lawyer would let him do that one. Legal bindings. The next time he would boot up his stream, he would claim that he was not interested in speaking on these allegations at all. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said not gonna. What I needed to say. Said it all. I don't give a fuck about this guy. Nope. That's it. And for the Not rest of this stream, he would seem pretty distraught and even speak about taking some time away from the internet in general. It's wanting to just uh, kind yeah, of it's over. move away from the limelight. Ultimately, that's what it's about. It's time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. Now, this is where the no, real hair is. There's no way you start mentioning stuff like that. As soon as someone, like, that means they're close to the truth, bro. Kind of starts to drop. That's what as I'm his own realizing. gaming studio, Midnight Society, Midnight. which he co-founded, would announce that they would be terminating their relationship with him, citing that they assumed his innocence, but after speaking with the parties involved, had no choice but to make this damning decision. People speculated that he actually Ooh. got word of this while on stream. Ooh. They have 12 a.m. as an ad. That's actually really sick. That is sick. Had no choice but to make this damning decision. People speculated that he Sound actually good. got word of this while on stream, and the no brand deals are just falling by the way. Plus, that it changed his entire demeanor. <laughs> Bro. Is it just so reading chat? Like, this more or less confirmed that they peeked behind the curtain and didn't like what they saw to a point where they felt like action needed to be taken. Of course, people Ooh. started making jokes saying, hey. They saw the DMs. They saw the group chat, guys. It's over. Hey, Doc, I heard you like him young and posted <laughs> videos of his quote unquote new setup. And they also brought up this oh, clip man. from two months ago. I remember someone saying, Dr. Disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was messaging rich girls on Twitch. Why? He said that. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, man. That isn't, that's not it. <laughs> We're about to learn all about the DMCA what process now. That's what I, I'm saying when I heard it. How did he say that? If I'm the doc, I'm suing you right now. I would actually that. sue you. Now, this would all more or less force Doc's hand. So he would once again tweet out that oh, he wants to go. cut the fucking bullshit, claiming that he's always been upfront and real. He would then apologize to his community and confirm that he would be stepping down from his position. I don't know why you would even do it. It doesn't make sense. You have a wife. I don't get it. You. Oh, gosh, bro. You're happily fucking married. In, in I game. don't get it. Like, why would you just do this to your career? Studio company. Uh, Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned. We haven't even seen the messages yet. It might, not, it might not even be in this video. Well, in this part of the video. I'm going to put them both in the same one. But, bro. Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there oh, real intentions shops. behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Uh, 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 uh. This is like the people in Chris Hansen. Did I text her? Yes. Did I mean to do it? No, but you showed up at the house, so it's like... Uh, what are you doing here, man? These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happens. What? Lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate? What does that mean? Pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the- I just touched the mail, baby, can't you tell? And it's on my side. Dun, dun, dun. The individual. I went through a lengthy operation regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by settlement. Let mm. me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. From a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I swear I was touching kids, I would have been already arrested. That would have Drake said, bro. Like, that does not work. Should never entertain those conversations. It don't work. 
patience to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. This show never happens. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I own my fucking shit. This was stupid. Still, Doc Weird. I don't. I still don't get it. Saying that he is not a predator, that he doesn't care about his quote unquote haters, and lastly made it clear that he had no intentions to go anywhere. So basically, Dr. Disrespect confirms here that he was indeed having inappropriate conversations with, with someone who was not of age. I find it hilarious that his only real defense only of himself that is that he never had any intentions behind these personal conversations he was engaged. Yeah, what does that mean? Was there real intentions? What does that mean? Like, were you just trying to, like, text to, like, get rocks off? Like, uh, I, I don't get, like, why would you do it? You have a life. And even if, you, even if not that, even if she's, like, mm, not feeling it tonight, like, just go on the websites. Like, you'll be fine. Aged in. It's kind of <sighs> like saying, oh, I didn't plan to rob the bank. I just got the ski mask, the gun, the rope. And of course, the blueprints of the building as well as the security guard schedule. And let's be clear that these chat logs have not and likely will never be released to the public, but it's pretty obvious there was something damning in there. One of the heads of his now former studio tweeted out, This is a statement from me personally. It does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately you message a minor, minor, I cannot work, work with you. Period. Easy, I, that's all it needs to be. I promised to only act on facts, and I did. And some of his good friends would even come forward with their reactions yeah. to this new information. I read through oh, Doc's man. tweet. And in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl mm. and went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, there's no excuse for something like that. I have known Doc for Damn. a while now. We've played games for years. If he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. Dog. No matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something. Right, or there was some truth to some enough. Someone truth. You, you, you settle to cover things up. You settle what to not let things get out there. Let me get arms sex minors or do any of that shit. And even the 49ers have released a statement saying that they're done with the doctor. Personally, I cannot comprehend how people make these types of mistakes. All the deals are gone. Over and over again. Oh like my right there, Dad. Push me to that ad. So easy to not only not speak to a minor, but to not speak to anyone when you are in this type of position. Like, why even begin to engage in conversation with this person? It That's just goes to show I'm me saying. how little self-control he had at the time he was 37 years old with a wife. You and have a wife and a kid. You 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 have a wife and a kid. Like, if you ask me, I think the only real explanation would be that his personified ego had actually become a part of his real character. Dressing up like that every day for a decade plus playing a caricature of yourself Damn, has decade, to damage though. something about an individual psychologically. And the funniest part to me is that he rode the unjust cancellation wave for such a long time, made millions of dollars doing so, only for this all to come to light. But the Twitch ban is really how it's really affected us, not just from a financial standpoint, but from a from a networking standpoint, from all the relationships we've built over the past five years in terms of Activision and EA. I mean, everyone, all the big sponsors, all the big partnerships, they have to question, why did you get banned? Like the fact that he was out here playing the victim to me is just an absolute joke. But I want to know what you guys think about this situation down below. I know you still have a lot of people defending this man for some reason, even when he yeah, literally I don't know about admitted that, to his He wrong literally game. admitted it. There's nothing to do with, like, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go to the next video. Hopefully they show the messages this time because I want to laugh at them. So yesterday we talked about a situation involving Dr. Disrespect we did. and his admission to inappropriate behavior online. Mm -hmm. Back in 2017, the Twitch god himself not only cheated on his wife and family for that matter. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful what family. This is the second time. And a wife <laughs> and a kid. And nah, it doesn't even I want to be transparent the second time I've been unfaithful. But he was also chatting up someone else who was not of age. This yep. resulted in his banning from Twitch. No one knew exactly why he got banned at first, including himself. And for I four years now, it was a now. secret that was essentially locked behind a vault. <sighs> but now NDAs are expiring, and you have whistleblowers who <clears throat> used to work at Twitch. As oh, well as that, that's why it's coming out now that NDAs are over. High ranking people in his now former game. If you don't know what NDA is, it's a non disclosure agreement. It means you can't talk until we say so. And that contract is over now. Studio he co founded, saying there were bad enough things going on in the background to terminate this man. So now, many of his former friends and colleagues have spoken out against the popular streamer obviously i have a relationship with doc uh played Damn. golf a lot the last year um he lost all his in. friends too, i mean bro. it's pretty much common sense how i feel about that i've got a daughter now i don't think it it takes Ugh. a rocket scientist to trust understand him. that i don't support can't talking. trust them people think they were like best friends if you a girl talk to him when you in love make sure you hide your little sister from like we're hanging out i don't even know the guy outside of a wig we took one picture together and newsflash he was in a wig you know, it's clear that he really did live up to his name, disrespecting everyone from his family, to his community, and even himself. Well, now the situation has taken yet another crazy turn, as someone else has come forward with their story regarding Doc from that very same- Is that his wife? That looks just like his wife. 
Oh man. 2017 era. And so this tweet was actually posted as a reply on an already viral tweet about the initial allegation. Why did you go back to this camera? This camera's so ass. <laughs> regarding the underage person Bro. where this individual comes forward to say nah, this can't be so. during that time in 2017 when he was cheating on his wife with not only me a trans worker but also another woman oh my gosh he just likes everybody and texting a pinner he was exploiting oh, me by making me give him shows with the promise of partnership we can assume they're talking about a twitch partnership there <laughs> hey you want a partner badge <laughs> Wasn't chasing shit, bro. After the show, he went ahead and blocked me. And so the person's evidence here is going to come down to two message logs. One that allegedly went down in the Twitter DMs, and the other one appears to be Twitter on DMs. Skype where I suppose these alleged shows were going on. I do want to be completely transparent in saying these messages could be, like, digitally doctored, but the person Couldn't would be. have to have some serious skills in computer graphics. Now, I guess this I is just their why. way of showing I that these DMs why. did come from the legitimate Dr. Disrespect Twitter page. As you guys can see at this time, the doc actually had this person <laughs> blocked. But for those of you that aren't aware, when you block someone on Twitter, that doesn't mean the DMs just disappear, and that other person really? will still have access to them until they decide to delete ah, them on their end. Okay. I also want to be clear in saying this person likely deleted some of their replies to him on this message thread, but it doesn't really change the overall meaning of these messages. So it starts where oh, he says, oh, stop no, it. You have to assume that this person... Oh, heck no. Nah. ...said something to provoke that response. And they say, hi, doctor, how are you? Photoshoot tomorrow, too nervous. To which he says, well, 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 good luck. I'm gonna try to get some sexy cosplay images. Then after I can punish you. Oh yeah? How so? Don't know, have to get a good- What are you- <laughs> This nigga's a freak, bro. Ha, how so? <laughs> how so? Gee, we shall see. To which Doc replies, ha. Huh. And then two hours later, okay, I guess he was feeling himself in more way than one, because he says, I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is- Yeah, I'll think of one soon. Over in the middle of the day, this is like 1 p.m. Who well, I'm packing for tomorrow. You should be on stream at like. Well, what? Do, I don't know. I think stream stream at night. Not sure a smooth black leather or latex. Don't know. And he says, "Nice. Feel like releasing one right now." I can imagine you guys know what he's talking about. I have to assume that this person had sent dog. You're just talking about his dog, right? You're just gonna let his dog out the cage. Some sort of picture here. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> he Hell says, not. Go or hold on. Oh my God! What is? And I'm gonna let you guys use your imagination there. Actually, he's just I talking wanna... about letting his dog out the kitchen. He's thinking, um, should I let him outside or should I not? You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a friendly conversation, guys. Have to, because they say, let it go, spray it out. Okay, maybe he's not talking about the dog. He's actually talking about, um, he's, he's um, 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 he's doing his hair and he's he needs to like spray the water. You know what I mean? So that's why she said, or he said, I don't know. They. And I guess the doc did because it took him a whole 10 days later to reply, <laughs> allegedly, where he says, I need 10 days. <laughs> and I guess the doc yeah, did yeah, because no. it took him a whole 10 days later to reply, allegedly, where he says, I need something. What do you need, doc? I'm sure you have all these e girls ready to serve you. LOL, no. L LOL, Lies. no. Uh huh. No way. You gonna watch my explosive intro? Like, at this point, no pun intended, you almost have to respect. How much this guy really sticks to his bit. Because even in these alleged nasty DMs he was sending, he's still speaking like he would speak on the stream. The goddess must be worshipped from head to toe before you- Wait, which one are we, huh? Is that the- No, this is the girl. Or- Or god. Man. Them. Can explode. I want the rewards. A couple days later, he sends her a little 2.55am message. Columbia. They say, hi hun, how are you? Daddy, you need to shout me out and spoil me, thank you. Yeah, that was never gonna happen. I have no <laughs> I am not shouting you. A month later, he says, <laughs> You need to stay in your place. You're not getting a shout out. Just to add you on Snap. And then he also appears there. Do you not know who I am? Share his username. And I guess Do this you is not where the connection was cut. He just gave her a Snap. He says, Just to add you on okay. Snap. And then he also appears there to share his username. And I guess this is where connection was cut, which was also probably right around the time his wife found out he was cheating with someone else. Damn. And they say, Miss you, Doc. Thanks for unfollowing, stranger. And then, like, eight months later, they say, Are you going to PAX East? To which I guess the doc at this point was like, I got way too lost in the sauce, and he decides <laughs> to block this person. This is where it would appear. I got way too lost in the sauce. These Skype DMs also come in. Skype? You use Skype? Wait, is this what Skype looks like now? It doesn't look very good. I'm gonna be honest. Skype, you should just throw it away. I ain't gonna lie. Just, just go work for Discord, bro. It's just better. As you guys can see, these are also dated. Uh, the ugly ass Skype emojis, bro. Uh, do y'all even remember, bro? Oh man. I grew up on this server. Back in the 2017 era, and these get even crazier. So he says- I wasn't on Skype in 2017, was I? No, I was on Discord, right? No, I think I went on Discord 2018. 
I don't remember. So I had to watch one more time. We can assume they had had some sort of little video session. I tried to snap you. Did you delete your account? Yes. Okay, feels bad. Sorry. I would try to video chat you soon. I'm heading to the gym, gotta get fit. But don't be a stranger, message me sometime, you gotta get some photos sent your way. To which he allegedly replies, I mean, I'm gripping now. Boom. What does I'm that mean? I mean, if this is all true, this guy has some serious issues. Nice firm grips while I work out. I'm gripping. Yum. And I guess this is where the Twitch partnership talk comes into play. Hey, love, do you know anyone you're close with that could see if they could get me a Twitch partnership? He replies later that day no. saying, hmm, hmm, I tried. They are pretty locked down right now. Focusing on popular games and impact of streamers on those games, unfortunately. I kind of stopped playing games and been doing IRL. I guess they say they're trying to see where one month doing that gets them. And they also mention here that getting a Twitch partnership is very difficult. And the funniest part here is after- Yeah, pretty tough to get a partner badge. After all that, his response is, any new peekaboos? <laughs> uh, okay. God. And then to add more fuel to this- This is just not good. Because the internet is forever. This How do you want this to get leaked? And also had tweeted out back in 2017, oh, man. you know, around that same sick era, met this handsome legend at Dr. Disrespect at TwitchCon. I mean, I don't know what was going on with that year, but the doctor was apparently just wilding on a whole nother level. And of course, <laughs> now that this person now. has come forward, you have a lot of people saying, well, why didn't they speak up before? Oh, they must just be looking for attention. And I mostly do agree with that. This person is likely trying to capitalize on this situation to get some people to migrate over to their Twitch stream mm -hmm. or their little dirty side or whatever they might be doing. But two things can be true at once. Delete. And to me, it really just shows that this rabbit hole is getting a little bit deeper. And I yep. almost don't know what's going to jump out next. I mean, this guy was so reckless and so out of control that he went on his personal Twitter page. He went on his personal Twitch and was chatting people through those platforms. That's how I don't know how you <laughs> Bro, does it not compute in your head what's going like I don't know about that one. he was like you on the main <laughs> on the main if you're gonna move like a degenerate you would at least have a better game plan than that and try to cover some of your bases I don't know I just think the whole situation is crazy I'm pretty sure at this time he was a damn right 42 and you're doing this why why at 42 are you doing this 35 years old and it's just like dude you have this beautiful wife you have this beautiful like you have a whole fa <sighs> family and you're allegedly doing all this dirt in the background it's just crazy to me my brain truly cannot compute how someone with so much to lose can make these Oppa, mistakes Oppa. over and over again but i want to know what you guys think about this do you feel like there's more to come do you think there's definitely more to come and i can't wait to see that that's gonna be funny <laughs>